What is up, YouTube viewers? Cynical Salad here again with an OU battle like I promised. I am feeling a lot better than my last video. And yeah, I actually wanted to do a PO battle because I was stuck in bed for most of the time here. I wonder what to do to that. I have a whole bunch of PO battles with all that stuff. But my PO decided to be mean and not record any of my logs, so I'll have to go all the way out of my way and have this battle. And yeah, as you can see, his team is <coughs> um, sort of standard, I guess. I assume that um, since it's not very heavily sand-based, um, I thought that the Tyranitar should have Stealth Rocks and Celebi will be either a tank or a nasty pot variant. And there's the Metagross, which is everything. And the two biggest threat on, threats on his team is La the, the Landorus and... <laughs> Terrakion, which pretty much can um, destroy everything. So here we go. Okay, so this guy <coughs> sends out his Jelly Belly, the Jealous. And this thing caused me so many problems in this battle. It sucked. But I, since I'm a Sand team, I decided to get Sand up first. And I predict the um, Will O Wisp and go right into Heat Tran because, yeah. So I get that nice little boost and. 1200 degrees, I don't know, I don't know if this is degrees, hand. whatever. So 1200 degrees is gonna go for Stealth Rocks, just to, I was predicting the Scald here, really, and I just got a text message. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna take the Surf pretty nicely, does less than half because he turns a boss, and all my Pokemon are, like, massive ownage, can take hits, yeah. I'm still a bit sick, so I protect to see what you do and get some extra leftovers, so he does go for the serve. I was really debating whether to switch into my own Jellicent or not. I should have done that. So now I found, heh, woo, 16 HP. Okay, anyways, enough of that. Um, I'm gonna switch out into my own Jellicent, like a sir, but he's gonna, no, he doesn't, never mind. Uh, he, he switches out right into his Metagross, and I'm like, crap, it's on a balloon, and balloons aren't cool. <laughs> yeah, this is, don't, only Pokemon that takes Sandstorm damage, whatever. So I go for the Will-O-Wisp, knowing that whatever comes in will... No, I go for the Scald, hoping to pop the Balloon. So I go right for that Scald, and I hit it for, like, zero damage, but I get the Burn! But really, the Burn didn't matter all that much towards the end, because... It just didn't. Yeah, because, A, this thing has Natural Cure, has natural cur cure so if it switches out, it loses that Burn, and secondly... You guys will see later on why it won't have a really matter. So he goes to the T-Wave, and now my Jirachi is completely useless. My Metalhead, um, yeah, my Jirachi likes to rock out occasionally. But yeah, Metalhead's now completely useless because it's paralyzed. It's the whole point of this guy is to paralyze and then Iron Head the crap out of everything, but that didn't work out. So I'm just going to U-turn the hell out of there, and U-turn's going to do like 2 damage to that Jellicent. <laughs> And I'm gonna switch right into low physics because I don't think a Scarver should be able to fly because it's like over a hundred pounds and it's got like a couple feet, um, couple foot um wingspan. So I don't think it should have flying. Look at like this giant hole. So how does it fly? Is it like a bumblebee? Does it flap its wings like a gajillion time? Then again, Darduro can fly, so I'm not complaining about Scarmory because Scarmory is uh cool. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to switch out. I thought I was gonna go for yeah. Anyways, so I go into my own jealous and to switch. She goes for the Willow Wisp. I should have seen that coming. Whatever. Now he burned my like a uh, my very gentlemanly um jellyfish. So it sucks because I'm taking continual damage. So I thought I would do something back to it. I don't know what I did. No, I try going the toxic. He predicts that and then goes right for the taunt. So this thing's faster than me. So uh boo. You suck. This Jelly Belly, um, yeah. Jerk. Taunting me like that. Anyways, yeah, as you can see, he's already causing me so many problems with this stupid jellyfish thing. I thought that phase was over. Everyone using Jellicent to, like, just stall the hell out of everybody. I guess I still have that problem because Jellicent suck. So he goes to the level predicting the switch. I didn't switch. I decided to go for the psychic, knowing that he was going to do some other over predict and go for a war. Yeah, this crit didn't matter either because A, this thing has recover. B, um,. As I said in the end, you guys will see why that Scald Burn and this crit didn't really matter. Because that Psychic 
didn't really do much damage to begin with. So, since I'm, um, whatchamacallit, since I know he's rather going to probably recover or go for another Will-O-Wisp, I'll just do whatever, and I know that Heatran could take a Surf, so yeah. Heatran comes back, I don't know why he came back, oh, I went to, um, burn this thing to see how he likes being burned. The funny thing about this Heatran is he doesn't take any damage, he recovers almost full of his HP, um, just from leftovers because nothing was able to touch this thing because it's really because he goes to the taunt right here but i sped and went for the will was first and yeah and i heal some more so i'm almost i'm at like 90 percent if not close to like anyways it's really cool so he burns ha burning jellyfish it's, it's like an entire being made of water how does it burn i'm not gonna question pokemon do, do, whatever so I go right back into Lekasa, and he goes into Terror, and I am terrified of Terror because, yeah, spikes, and that's going to help a lot. But yeah, this thing's a huge-ass threat to me. I don't know what I'm going to do. And with that burn damage, I know nothing. I don't want to switch in anything because I don't want anything else to take a Stone Edge or Coast or anything. But yeah, so Jellison dies, my only um, counter to that. So and I now have a paralyzed Jiracho in the field. I go for the Iron Head, and it does a pretty good amount of damage. But I thought he'd over, and here I didn't switch up because I thought he'd over predict, seeing that I made some pretty good switch in. So I thought there'd be a chance to like psych it, fake him out. Didn't work out so well. So I go back to lol physics because this thing laughs at the face of physics. And max defense, Skarmory can take anything, even from a Lando. So I'm going to go for that Brave Bird, my favorite move. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, and I'm going to be left with 68 HP. Uh, anyways, I'm going to get some lefties and now I know that. Um, yeah, he goes back into Terrakion. And see, I already, like, he's about a quarter done from all that hazard damage. And I know I, don't, I saw the close combat or whatever coming. Again, Terrakion does so much damage. That it didn't matter. So I go right into my Claudian. Because Claudians are cool. I think you see the Sinker hero would get that reference. So I get th I go for the U-turn seeing that um I don't want to hit. I'll, I'll, I go for the Earthquake first just in case. And I go for the U-turn just to break that balloon. And now that is one useless Metagross. Because Metagross is on the ground. And he's one of them everything. But I go into 1200 Celsius because... I saw whatever attack coming. I knew that he trying to wall the hell out of this Metagross. So I get some delicious leftovers. And I believe I go for the Will-O-Wisp. And I burn. Thank God this hit. If this did not hit, I would have lost the entire battle. But I go for the Will-O-Wisp. And yeah. If you have noticed, Alvin, Alvin he killed his Andres. And he's killed Skarmory, Jellicent. And I'm in a really bad situation. Nothing's going my way. So I'm like, I don't know what to do. Oh, I yeah, also Jirachi died. So I'm at 3 and he has 6. So I go into Tartar, knowing that this guy can take anything from a Burn Tarnet. But he goes to the Stealth Arc. It's a really late game Stealth Arc. So it's 6 to 3 right 5 to 3 right now. I don't know how I'm going to win. So I knew that anything that the um, Tyranitar throws at me, I can survive. So I'm going to go for the Dragon Dance because a Dragon Dance Tyranitar, this thing's a jolly max speed Tyranitar with Dragon Dance is. Just fast enough to outspeed a full speed, max speed, jolly Terrakin. So it's all good. And But when he went for that superpower, I freaked out thinking that the game was over. But I survived thanks to that burn damage. I'm guessing this thing's not max HP. So I go for that stone edge. A plus one stone edge from a max attack. T-Tar can destroy anything. So I'm like, bitch, come at me. It's it's um, now 4-3. to three, And he's probably predicting the earthquake. I don't like Earthquake, so Fire Punch that shit! So, now Metagross is dead, because I know that Fire Punch is going to kill it. So now I just tied things up with one Tyranitar, and this thing is raping shit. So he sends us LLB, um, I go for the Crunch, because I knew that the Tarakian was going to come in anyways. But I was hoping that, since I knew I would at speed, unless this thing's Choice Scarf, but those things are so uncommon, I thought I wasn't really expecting that. So, and with all that hazard damage, I right go for for the crunch and screw your justified I kill that Terrakion get out of my house so I'm at one life orb left 
But since he switched out... See, the thing is, I could have killed the Celebi regardless of... Um... Thing. So, now, Deli Belly's back. Like, if that Celebi came back, I would have definitely switched out. Or something. Actually, I wouldn't have switched. I would have killed that. And maybe this Jellicent would have caused me a lot of problems. But then again, I had two Pokemon. I had Lando and, um... I had my Landorus and my uh, Heat Channel Live, I believe, so it would have been all good. <clears throat> I would have been able to stall out the Jellicent quite a bit using my Heat Channel with Protect, the Lava Plume, um, with that burn damage that I had to recover constantly. But yeah, so, but I win from a epic sweep from a Dragon Dancing Titar. So yeah, I hope you guys um, enjoyed the battle. Um, yeah. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave a comment below. Inbox me something. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. This is Cynical Salad. Hope all of you guys have a nice day. Signing out.